Hi, I'm Seamus from Outdoors Inspiration. This is my German Shepherd, Petra. And uh, <laughs> we're off for a cheeky wild camp tonight. We're going to, uh, we're going to explore some Bronze Age sites on the, uh, on the way to where we're going. Come along and have a look with us. It's quite interesting this. We just set off on the walk and um, we're at a Bronze Age settlement already. It's a place called Witten Knoll Rocks. This is definitely a Bronze Age hut circle here. And Petra sat on the outside wall of it. They're very distinctive and easy to spot on the moor because they are generally circular. These are quite pronounced because there's a lot of rock involved. But I know that there's some surprises with this and they were later reoccupied and restructured in the medieval period as longhouses. So we'll have a little look at one of those. So here we go. Now we've got to, in the same area I know this is going to be like watching paint dry for some of you, but it's absolutely fascinating. This now, I don't know if you can make out the structure in the light. Wall, 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 wall. And these were longhouses. Part of it was probably a ship and where, the, uh, where some of the stock were kept as well, living inside with people. And it was probably modernised. It was probably late medieval and then modernised later on, maybe in the 17th century, something like that, and then later forgotten about. I don't know the full history. I'm just, uh, I'm just surmising. Um, but it's on exactly the same spot as Whittenell Rocks. So people have not only lived here for centuries, but millennia. Right, I'm really sorry about this. I'm going to go on about the uh, the Bronze Age thing just for a moment. Um, I'll get on with the man goes out, does wild camping thing, sets everything up, cooks dinner, all the rest of it goes home again in a bit. So this is the Drizzlecombe uh, Stone Row, and I'm at one of the terminal stones on the western end of it. It's absolutely stunning, this stone row. Uh, the reason why I'm including this in the film is because this was put here some four, four and a half thousand probably years ago by the Beaker folk who were our early uh, settlers here from the Iberian Peninsula. They dominated the landscape. Um, and this predates the site that we've looked at over there on the horizon, uh, which is Whitten Knoll Rocks just in there. Um, and this predates that, you know, by a good thousand, maybe two thousand years. Um, so the folks who were living up here probably had as little a clue about what goes on here as we do today. Petra. The sun's setting beautifully now. It's going to be gorgeous tonight. Um, that's where we're heading, higher heart at all. Whilst I'm on my way up to our campsite for the night, gives me an opportunity just to stop, get my breath and remind you about our fantastic giveaway for an MSR Pocket Rocket 2. Uh, if you don't know about that, if it's the first time you see my channel, I'll put a link in the description below to the video for that. Look for the video on my channel. Uh, I'm going to have a draw at the end of the month and the lucky winner uh, will, uh, will be the lucky winner of a Pocket Rocket 2 from MSR. Up we go. Go 
Go then, up, up. Pets, up, up. Good girl. Go then, way up. Good girl. What a night for it. Fantastic. Here we go. Hi, heart at all. And this, I think, <laughs> this shall be our bed for the night. Absolutely perfect. First. Chicken fajita rice sounds good to me. Oh, I like that coffee. I'm just waiting for Robin to turn up. I've just seen his light down the track here. He's going to join me for the night with uh, Shelby the Kelpie. Be nice, Petra. You'll have some company. Eh? And um, if you're waiting for the Petra cam moment, that'll happen in the morning. I didn't have time to put it on her tonight, so uh, we'll do a bit of that tomorrow. Let's see how this is. That's delicious. You like that, Petra? It's not for dogs, you know that, don't you? It says so on the packet. Look, not for dogs. Oh! All right, that bit is. <laughs> so I'm not sure the camera's picking this up, but Robin's here. You gonna say hello, Robin? Hello. <laughs> Let's find a pitch for you, mate. I found one, nice and flat, and 10 miles that way. <laughs> well, I wanted to do my usual thing with filming the stars and stuff. Um, that's not gonna happen. Uh, because the clag has come in, it's misty. About 10 metres visibility here now. Um, we had beautiful stars above us. Robin's joined us, he set up his tent, he's getting all the rest of his gear together. Um, let's go and see what he's up to. So, uh, so Robin's got fairy lights in his tent. Um, I'm quite envious, um, but it's a bit worrying when you see a man get his fairy lights up. <laughs> but it's actually really nice. It's a very warm light. <laughs> Better than the coldness of um, 
of LED lights, isn't it? Well, I thought I'd just sort of skip around my tent or something in a minute. <laughs> <laughs> we'll be over here, mate. <laughs> Keeping our distance. Fairy lights, skipping. <laughs> Come on, Petra, you're safer over here. Not enough water in there. My hot chocolate. I didn't boil enough. But I've got a solution. No, I'm going to fill it up with rum. A little bit of pirate juice to go in there, I think. Just to top it up a bit. <laughs> oh, that's strong. The weather didn't improve much last night. <laughs> you don't like that, do you? Wait there, Petra. Wait there. Still claggy. You wake, Robin. No. no. <laughs> oh dear, there's about 20 yards visibility out there, but I think it's thin and going to clear above. Um, let's have a little look, it's about 6.30. So I... Um prepare my own breakfast this is uh, these are oats these bags are tough and take me to buy really you can get them on the internet and uh, put oats in there sometimes I put in a bit of hot chocolate with it on this occasion it's got some uh, black currant flavor with the oats the only trouble is I need a long handled spoon I've got a short handled spoon and a long bag, which is never a good combination. It's always a beautiful day on Dartmoor. We're going to get back on that track over there. I'm going to head for home. <laughs> Petra, are we ready to go? Take care of yourself. And you mate, ta-da! Oh, Got you wait. Hi, Hi you all right? Hi, fellas. Morning. <laughs> Thanks, mate. Morning. Thank you very much, mate. That's okay. Have a good one, all right? And you enjoy the fox tour. <laughs> we go. That's exactly where we're going. Now. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, the lovely cafe in the middle of Princetown and it's a it's a great destination for cyclists there's a beautiful path here and uh, keeps getting upgrades because it erodes from time to time but uh, it's like a highway across the mills and that's what's uh, There we go, we're at Nuns Cross Farm. It's no longer a farm, it's a, a privately owned bunkhouse. Um, and it's, no, no, it's nothing to do with nuns either, come to think of it. Um, <laughs> the term nun, I think it's derived from nan, which was an old English term, uh, or an old English word, um, that meant a coombe or a valley, and it's situated in this valley here. 
And the, uh, the cross is actually a monastic cross down here, Sywards Cross, S-I-W-A-R-D-S, nothing to do with nuns, um, Sywards Cross. And on one side of the face of it, it's marked uh, Buckland, uh, for Buckland Abbey. So it was a way marker for monks who were travelling from Buckfast through to Buckland Abbey. There's a whole series of crosses marking their ways across Dartmoor, but uh, they're all of varying ages and have various purposes. Let's have a look at this one. So there we have it, Sywood's Cross, Nun's Cross, as it's commonly known. Um, beautiful location on the moor, people often stop here because there's this, this lovely bridle way coming right the way through the moor and ending up back at, uh, at Ditsworthy Warren. But for now, we'll leave it there, I guess. Time to head for home. And don't forget, Thursday night is our Outdoors Inspiration, Outdoor Essentials Night. Uh, we'll be talking about various topics, whether it be skills uh, or wild camping equipment uh, or outdoors in general. And if you haven't done already, uh, check out uh, the link I'll put below for our great giveaway for the end of the month, an MSR Pocket Rocket 2 stove. Um, somebody's got to be in it to win it, so uh, have a go. Anyway, thank you very much for your time, folks. We'll see you on the next one. Come on, Petra.